Hi, this is uh, P.V. Subramanian from mirrorlessness.com. That's mirrorlessness.com. I'm the founder of Kit Karma, www.kitkarma.com. And here I am. Uh, I've been a, a prolific Leica user, right from the M9s up to the M10 and then, you know, the Leica SL. Uh, so, the Leica SL had an L mount and it's part of the L alliance, the best thing to happen to the camera world, right, to the photography world. Sigma, uh, Panasonic and Leica have come together to share technology to create cameras with a common mount so that you can have any lens in your kitty among these three companies with an L mount and you'll be fine. So that's fantastic, right? Now, the L Alliance, the cameras started getting released about a year, year and a half back, but then the lenses were a few, only Leica had a few lenses. Now Panasonic is in the fray, they have three or four lenses, and Sigma is now in the market. So today we're going to see the L mount 35 1.2. Yep, 1.2, you heard that right, with autofocus. So this is the world's first 35mm 1.2 with autofocus. Now this, incidentally and probably, is the first unboxing video of this lens worldwide. I tried YouTube, couldn't find anything, so I'm assuming this is the first. If you find something, well, let me know, but I didn't find anything on YouTube uh, regarding this lens. Uh, I know people have spoken about it, but nobody's really shown you the lens, so I'm going to do that. And, uh, you know, this is an art series lens, and the motto of Sigma for art series is pursuing the ultimate image quality, right? That's that's what they're after. So this is a no compromise lens. It looks, feels exactly like that. I'll show you what I recorded with the unboxing. All right, so here it is, the Sigma 35mm f1.2 L mount. It's the first autofocus 35mm lens with an aperture of 1.2. And it's an art series from Sigma. So here you have the strap. That's for the box, of course. You have some paperwork. And here it is. So I love this with the art series. I love these boxes. So when you have to go somewhere, uh, you know, there are companies which have this pouch kind of a thing, which uh, kind of a shapeless, but this is a solid kind of a cuboid. So it fits well, snugly, and you know, it's, it's easy to transport. And if you just want to carry it along, you can put the strap and take it. I really like this from Sigma. And here it is. Wow, that's quite big. But then remember, it's 1.2, F1.2. So I've used a couple of other F1.2, or not a couple, I've used one more 35mm F1.2 lens, but that was manual focus, that was a Voigtlander. And this is the Sigma Art. 35mm 1.2 DG DN, a filter size of 82 millimeters, again because of the 1.2 aperture, and this has, look at this, it has the aperture control right on the body of the lens, and this can be declicked. So, so if you're shooting video, there's no clicks. You can just change it. And if you want the clicks as you're doing photography, and the click is back. And then uh, they have this AFL button. I have to uh, I have to do some research on that. What all it can do? And then there's an AF MF button. All right. So here it is. Here's the Sigma 35 1.2 L mount mounted on the Panasonic S1. Sometimes I do miss the SL. I wish I could have tested it on the SL and I probably will but then right now I have this beautiful amazing uh, Sigma I mean uh, Panasonic S1 so yeah the lens does appear big but remember again and again I'm, I keep telling you it's a 35 1.2 so so it is bound to be large it's heavy it's about 980 grams it's not light 
but then the S1 also is not a very light and uh, you know kind of a tiny camera. It's it's fairly substantial. It itself weighs uh, almost like an SLR. So so the combo is fairly compact and nice. It it feels good holding this. I love the grip of Panasonic. This grip and then you know if you hold it, it's it's beautiful to shoot. So so that's what it is. It comes with the hood. It's got an 82 mm filter size. It's got 11 aperture blades rounded. So I can't wait to shoot the bokeh of this guy. I'm really uh, itching to really shoot a portrait shoot somewhere, uh, hopefully tomorrow. And uh, what else does it have? Yeah, so I, I already showed you the aperture ring. It's outside. That's brilliant. I just love that uh, being a you know manual uh, focus uh, lens user. Then the autofocus, manual focus button and the AFL button. And then you know if you want to declick this ring so there's a button there so that's what this is all about it has a coating the front element has a coating uh, so it is oil and water repellent that's what they say and it's got uh, you know it, I, they don't call it weather sealing they call it something else but then it's it's kind of intended to keep away dust from getting in and from splash so so water splashes so it's splash proof and uh, dust proof that's what uh, they say so I'm going to test the focusing speed, uh, you know, the aberrations and all those kind of stuff. Like I said, it's a DGDN, so this is supposed to be of uncompromising quality. We'll test it out. Don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you can be uh, notified when I have this. I'm going to test uh, this uh, for video and I'm going to test this for stills indoor and outdoor. So don't miss that. Please subscribe. Thank you.